Alpha Houston on the big loop, just a heads up, we're back with you on video in the airlock. Today, uh, Sonny Williams will be wearing a spacesuit uh, that is all white with no markings. That's the distinguishing characteristics of her suit. Once again, uh, Bob Kerbeam will be wearing a suit uh, with a solid red stripe around the pant legs and also at the top of his uh, portable life support system, uh, his backpack. Houston Alpha, good morning. We're ready for the DPC, and the guys in Yearlock are born to run. Copy that, LA, and we like your choice of uh, music. Very oh, nice. Yeah. Sonny Williams climbing into her spacesuit, which is mounted on a, the uh, wall inside the Airlock Quest, the uh, upper portion of the suit uh, known as the hut for the hard upper torso. Shuttle's robotic arm is uh, in the process of being maneuvered to support the uh, activities throughout the planned uh, six plus hour spacewalk today. I don't know if you're getting a good uh, picture from the airlock right now. So I don't know if it's a good picture. We do have a video of Sunny, and there's a flag, but we can't. All we see is the top of the flag. Uh, it's a good picture of the flag and some gloves. U.S. Uh, Navy Commander Sonny Williams. And that's a good shot there, Sonny. We can all agree on beat Army. Sunny, on the UIA, power EV-1 and 2, two switches to off. Power EV-1, coming off, 3, 2, 1, off. Power EV-2, 3, 2, 1, off. All the LEDs are off. Okay, you can uh, disconnect the SCU from your DCM, install the cover, and stow the SCU in your pouch. Okay. And Bob Kerbeam, uh, first out of the hatch as the International Space Station travels uh, into an orbital sunrise. Okay, yeah, got you loud and clear also, and Beamer got a great camera Charlie on you. Got a beautiful view of you coming outside, and you know you're going to go ahead and inspect the load alleviating straps and the 85-foot safety tethers. Inspected, no road showing. Coming outside. Sounds good. One and sunny. From as Alpha. he's doing that, you will be prepping to transfer fish on one and two to Beamer.
This view showing uh, a very good comparison uh, size relation between the astronauts and the size of the International Space Station. Bob Kirby already down at the bottom of the picture at the S-0 truss, uh, the CETA cart that was relocated at the end of the second spacewalk by Krister Fugel saying, Sonny Williams at the top on the outside of the airlock uh, configuring her lines, her uh, tether uh, reels and uh, what's known as a fish stringer on which she um, stows uh, items that will be brought back in uh, to be disposed of or uh, returned into the crew compartment. B-26. That is correct. Billy, I've got two waist tethers, one in the handrail, and I'm going to do my safety tether. It's too late now. Thank you, Simon. And that's complete. And this view uh, from the helmet cam uh, as Sonny Williams sees it on the outside of the airlock. And swapping to uh, Bob Kerbeam's camera, he's already in his first task, which is to reconfigure some avionics cables. complete uh, Bob Kerbeam uh, heading off to uh, his second task of the reconfiguration which is out to the um, S1 uh, truss segment to reconfigure the uh, DC to DC converter unit cables. Beautiful view of uh, Bob Kirby out on the end of the starboard truss. Yeah, I'm just working on a body position to get the cap off. Another shuttle mission from now will attach another uh, 45 feet to the end of that starboard truss. Yeah, Sonny Williams has, uh, in her uh, first task of the day, demating the. Uh, cables associated with two of the uh, circuit interrupt devices. These are early circuit breakers that uh, now that the power will be distributed through main bus switching units uh, was no longer required of these uh, circuit interrupt devices. Bob Kerbeam uh, headed back to the center of the truss segment. The uh, He'll be uh, sliding one of the CETA carts uh, just a bit so that he can access uh, the next area for um, cable uh, reconfiguration associated with uh, the next uh, DC to DC converter unit. Lab J201. Sid 1 P301. 
J201. That's complete. Copy, Beamer. And now you can mate that. 